Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming today, along today for a very exciting announcement for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. I'd like to welcome along the family and friends of our players here today. It's great to see you all here to celebrate a, a fantastic announcement for the club and, of course, your men up here on the stage. Firstly, I'd like to welcome to the lectern Gadigal Elder Uncle Alan Madden for today's Welcome to Country. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, my name is Alan Madden, Gadigal Elder. Dearly beloved, we are... Ga nah, wrong one. <laughs> for my first song... Nah. Welcome to country to me is always an honour and pleasure. Just to give you a little bit of an insight of where you are and who we are. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as we've all welcomed the countries, firstly I'd like to acknowledge our First Nations and traditional owners of the lands that you may have come from or work upon and pay my respects. To all our Aboriginal Elders, all Elders, past and present, also pay my respects. To all our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander brothers and sisters, from whatever Aboriginal or Island nation you may have come from, welcome to Gadigal. And to all our non-Indigenous brothers and sisters here today, a very warm and sincere welcome to you to Gadigal. No matter where you've come from, whether it be across the seas, across the state or across town, once again, a very warm and sincere welcome to you to Gadigal. And as I've mentioned many times before, was, is and always will be Aboriginal land. Only three things shorter than that, coming, taxation and going. It's an honour and pleasure to be here today to welcome one and all to Gadigal. Gadigal is one of 29 clans of the Eora Nation. The Eora Nation is bounded by nature's own. The Hawkesbury River to the north, the Peen to the west and George's River to the south. And in between those three mighty rivers is the Eora Nation. And in that nation, there are 29 clans. And the clans land we're on today is Gadigal. On behalf of South Sydney Rabbitohs and of the Gadigal mob, once again, a very warm and sincere welcome to you to Gadigal. There's an old Aboriginal saying out there, and I think it's very appropriate for you mob here today. They say, where there's a will, there's relatives. So once again, on behalf of the Rabbitohs and of the Gadigal mob, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Alan. Now on our panel today, we have Rabbitohs head coach Jason Demetriou, we have Latrell Mitchell and Cody Walker, two of the Rabbitohs finest, and Rabbitohs CEO Blake Solly, who will now make the announcement on behalf of the club, following which we'll then take questions from the floor to our panel. Uh, thank you, Jez. I uh, also want to thank Uncle Alan for that uh, unique, um, but also very warm and generous welcome. Thank you, Alan. Uh, I want to acknowledge all the traditional owners of the land upon which we meet today uh, and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. I uh, also want to welcome the families uh, of the players who are here today uh, and at home, uh, particularly Brielle uh, and Matt and Trish uh, Mitchell. Uh, to Bernie Walker, great to see you here today. Um, we're acutely aware at the club that uh, we aren't in these positions to sign great players without the commitment uh, and the work and the effort that you guys put in to support um, the players on the field and off the field, so thank you. Also want to welcome a number of our corporate partners here today. Thank you for your ongoing support of South Sydney, uh, in particular to Peter Chow, CEO of MG Motor. Peter, great to see you here as well, thank you. Um, today's a significant day uh, for the South Sydney Club Alongside the retention of Damien Cook last week, it gives me great pleasure on behalf of the club to announce extended agreements for two, of, two great players, uh, two important members of the Rabbitohs family. Um, for Cody Walker, um, extending his stay until the end of the 2025 season at least, uh, and to Latrell Mitchell, uh, extending his stay with the club until at least the end of the 27th season. Uh, it's fitting in some ways that we announce them together today. Uh, they debuted uh, in the same game, albeit on different teams, back uh, in round one, 2016. Um, but their careers have been inextricably linked since then. 
Uh, if I could just say a few words about each of them um, before we open to questions. Uh, anyone who read today's paper will have um, heard more about Cody's journey uh, as an NRL player, the tenacity that he showed, um, the resilience that he showed to not give up uh, before making debut in 26 is something that I think is the genesis of rugby league and, and everything that rugby league speaks to. But then it's also his competitiveness and desire to grasp every opportunity he's had since that debut to play for his state, um, many individual honours, um, including two George Piggins medals. Um, but there's also what happens off the field with Cody, which I think everyone at the club is tremendously proud of. He's become a courageous, considered and articulate advocate uh, for the Indigenous community. He also does an enormous amount of community work in his own time, and that was rewarded with last year's Ken Stephen medal. Latrell, uh, in some ways, had a slightly quicker journey uh, to the NRL uh, in his debut, but no less resilient in the way he faces both the challenges and successes of his career. His outstanding career speaks for itself, premierships, origin series wins, many individual honours, uh, and culminating in a World Cup win last month, which I know uh, both the club and Latrell are extremely proud of. He's also become a courageous and committed advocate uh, for Indigenous community, particularly standing up to racism and racist abuse on social media. Uh, on that note, I just want to finish with three thank yous before I open into questions. Um, firstly, thank you for the players, um, for your commitment to our club, um, the important members both of the club on the field and off it. I want to thank the players and their management, um, particularly Warwick and Sarah, for their patience. Uh, hasn't been an easy um, deal to do in the context of a CBA and a salary cap that's uncertain, but we thank you for your patience and your understanding through this process. Uh, and finally, on a personal level, it's been an honour and a privilege to watch uh, these two men um, grow on the field and grow off it to the positions that they now hold as leaders of our club, uh, leaders of their community and leaders within the game. Um, but I'm also very happy to know that the best is yet to come. Thank you. suppose, you know, what Blake's sort of touched on and you know, everything that's sort of going on, going on in our careers and myself personally, it's just been, um, yeah, sort of a roller coaster ride and ups and downs, you know, leaps and bounds. But, yeah, I'm definitely grateful to be able to set, you know, my future in concrete here. And um, ever since, you know, I got the opportunity to come over, you know, Anzac Parade to, you know, be in Redfern and, and be amongst this, um, you know, Great club. It's, uh, you know, I've always had you know, South Sydney through me, you know, running through my veins, you know, with my dad, and uh, definitely Tari you know, as a proud community of, you know, they love the Rabbitohs, and I've always known that, you know, if it wasn't my first team, it's my second, and uh, but you know, today I, you know, announced it as my first team, and um, I want to be here for you know, the rest of my career, and um, I definitely feel at home here, and that's what, you know, that matters to me is that home feeling. And, it's my home away from home, and um, that's the people you know, in my environment that create that as well. And, you know, thanks to the club, thanks to Cody, thanks to my teammates, and, and, and Jason as well. It's just, um, yeah, it's a pretty emotional over there, but good ways. Which how special is it to share this moment to Yeah, like uh, Blake touched on, the first sort of game we played against each other was. Uh, First round 2016, and and today you know we embark on another journey to you know go together for the next few years and create something special. And you know, we both want to win premierships here, and we both want to bring a trophy home. And, uh, we, we we sort of you know we we think similar, I guess in a sense. Uh, and I just want to you know, we just both want to make our families proud and be the proud men that we are, and definitely you know, hold a trophy at the end of it. Cody, since um, Latrell's come across and to the Rabbitohs, you know, he's been in a number of years, but what's he done for you as an individual and as a player and also, too, for the, for the broader community and the club? You, know, you get a sense of um, home as well. Like, um, two you know, black kids from country areas, um, Tari and, and Casino, who would have thought we'd be in this position today? Um, but, yeah, you just sort of get us... You know, we, we get along together. Um, you know, I respected him from afar when um, he was at the Roosters, what he was able to achieve at 18, 19, uh, to win two premierships before, what, 22? Pretty impressive stuff. 
um, and to see him come across and um, you know do what he's done at our club, um, you know, and improve my game is is um, you know pretty special and um, you know glad that he's you know we're both committed to the club for a number of years and um, you know we've, as he said we both want to win premierships and um, that's what we're, we're aiming to do. Nah, don't write me off. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I, look, I don't think so. Um, obviously, starting a little bit later probably um, helped prolong my career a little bit. Um, you know, debuting at 26, you know, probably grew into, let my body, you know, let myself grow into the body and um, wasn't taking the hits at, at 17, 18. So, um, you know, it worked out well for me. Obviously, touch wood, you know, see what happens. I think it's um, a credit to both Latrell and, and Cody and also their management that we were able to, um, I think, largely do the agreement and the negotiations in private. Um, it says a lot about their commitment to the club. Um, hasn't been easy without a CBA, so we've been, uh, in some ways, um, shooting at a moving target all the way through. But um, once we knew that they wanted to stay here, it was incumbent on us to, to find the right deal to do that. Um, and their management and everyone who's been associated with the deal has been great to deal with. And Latrell and Cody, how important was the decision to sign on um, under a coach like JD? Yeah, um, you know, you see what the big fella's done, like last year, just to step up and um, you know, take on the role of, you know, and obviously being under Wayne Bennett for a while and learning the tricks of the trade, and uh, he's really come into his own and showed us, you know, what he's about, and you know, he's all about family and, and that connection also, but for him to do, you know, such you know, great things in his first year, it's... Um, yeah, it definitely made me more, you know, committed to the club and um, committed to him. Just wanted to show that. I know Cody's feeling the same way. Um, we're definitely excited for the next few years with him and uh, can't wait for him. Yeah, no, it's um, definitely something to look forward to for the NRL world. Um, I know the big fella's been working really hard on himself and, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Honestly, it's, um, it's been a long time coming. You know, I've played up through him. I always looked up to my older brother, and uh, to get more opportunity, definitely um, something I'm looking forward to. Jason, will you lean, do you lean much on the likes of Cody and Latrell as well when you know you're stepping into those big games and big moments? Do you rely on a pair like this? Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's um, they're two players that influence people around them on the field and off the field, and uh, to have them committed to our club long term is it's huge in terms of the stability organisation, but also we've got some good young talent that will learn off these guys. Um, and like I said, they're, they're two players that, you know, in big games can deliver and um, in a market that's hard to keep players and really pleased for the club and for these guys to set their futures up. Cody, you still pinch yourself, but Blake Benchard, you've done it harder than most players in the NRL. Yeah, 100%. Um, I think if I was 18 and I got an opportunity to play NRL, I probably would have, you know, in and out, out the door straight away. I, I had to go through those struggles to um, really find myself. And obviously, I owe a lot to my, my two young boys who, who changed my life for the better. Um, you know, I was 21, you know, Kyan, found out Kyan was, was coming along. And, um, you know, I had no job, no car, no licence. So I had nothing really going for me. So... I had no real choice but to turn my life around and, um, you know, as I said, I sort of pinch myself that I'm here right now, but had to work really hard to, to be in a position where I am to look after my family and um, provide for, for them and um, I'm really grateful that I've got kids like mine. Yeah, obviously the, the, the club's a family club. Um, you know, we've got an opportunity where the, the boys are, are ball boys, you know, majority of the time. So they're able to, um, you know, witness some pretty special things that happen on the footy field. I remember very clearly I played against the Roosters and I scored 
the first try of the second half and, and we, my eldest lad comes up to me and shakes my hand on the footy field like that's that's crazy. Like those memories like that will um, you know uh, are pretty special in, in terms of you know <laughs> no other kid sort of gets to do that sort of stuff so I'm quite blessed and, and honoured that <clears throat> you know I'll get to share that those type of moments with my kids and you know, after games and um, get to celebrate with them and, um, yeah, it's pretty special. Trill, it's a bit surreal because you really want up there, all your family, your closest friends, a massive turnout, all for you two, you mean so much to everyone. Yeah. Nah, it does mean, it means, it means a lot. Like, I, I like talking to my family when I'm doing stuff, but, uh, yeah, it could, gets me a bit, but, um, yeah, definitely, uh, yeah. Just let them know that I'm very grateful for you know everyone that's had a part in my career and uh, in my journey. Uh, I've come down as a 15 year old boy and uh, you know, achieved something that I didn't think. I don't think a lot of people wanted me to achieve as well. And uh, yeah, can't thank the people in my life that give me a house to live in when I come to Sydney. And uh, just um, yeah, I had nothing at the start of it, but um, I've got it all now. And the future's bright, and um, I can't wait. I've set some. I was in the place where I want to achieve and, and be grateful and be happy and be proud of myself by the time I'm 30 and, and look back and, yeah, and see where I can go from there. But, yeah, our families are definitely one thing that motivates a lot of this. And it's our why and uh, what my purpose is to be here for the next few years to win a comp. Is that the top of your city mentioned you've got some goals until your 30s? Is the premiership at the top? Yeah, definitely. At least two out of you know, the next few years. Three, maybe five. You know, chase whatever, we chase every year, it's, it's why we play footy. And that'd be a big goal of yours, Cody, um, not being able to win a premiership, um, first grade, mate? Yeah, 100%. Um, obviously, you know, very proud of the, the, the guys over the last five or six years to um, be in, you know, five straight prelims, but, you know, we haven't got the job done, hasn't been good enough, and... Um, you know, that's why we're back training now and, and working really hard to, to get that end goal and um, that's why we're always what we're always striving for. Obviously we can be proud of what we've done and what we've achieved, but at the end of the day we haven't got that, that premiership and that's what we're chasing. Cody, you've been around the club for a long time. Um, what has been your experience of coming along here? This morning, as we said, a massive announcement for our club. Great moment for the boys and their families. We thank you for being here to take part in it. We'll set up some photos now. Um, and then if you have any further interview requests, we can uh, deal with those as they come in. But thank you very much for coming along. Hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. 2023, it's the year of the rabbit. Come, buddy.